Hey nerds, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be working on my desk. So currently my desk is a mess, it's really dirty. Um, so I need to clean it off and get it down to like the bare of what I want. And then we are going to set up some new stuff that I got to help with uh, recording videos, streaming, editing, stuff like that because um, I want to do some other types of content on my channel but I wanted to get a couple of things to help me with that and I want to kind of show you guys what I put on my desk. Right now I have an old rig um, that I bought third hand from someone. Someone built it, someone bought it from them and then I bought it from that person because when I first started this channel I just needed a computer to edit on like ASAP um, because I have my MacBook but my MacBook is so old, it's from 2011, and it's basically up there in age, and I hardly use it. I try to use it as minimal as possible, mostly just for reading books um, when I'm in my room and stuff like that. So I wanted to get something super cheap, um, and I really wanted a desktop, and I wasn't quite ready to build my own yet. So I bought the rig behind me, and it's been doing me well um, for this year or so that I've been doing YouTube. But lately it's been really conking out on me. So the next big project that I'm going to do um, as far as like my hobbies and stuff like that is to build my own PC. That video probably won't come out for like months because I've chosen most of my parts. I just haven't purchased yet. I probably should have been purchasing now that we're in quarantine and I could have been built it. But I've been so focused on other stuff like Nerdy Island and cleaning the nerd cave and making props for photos and all kinds of stuff. So that video will come eventually. But like I said, we're going to go ahead and work on the desk setup that I currently have. Because whenever I buy my new rig, I'm thinking I might buy a new desk and maybe change the setup. Um, so I'm going to walk you guys through what I currently have on my desk, what I'm using, and then I'll show you the new parts that I got, and then we'll work on the setup. So let's do it. So the first thing that we have is the microphone um, that we already had before. I think I'm going to link in the description all of the stuff that I got um, on Amazon. The first thing I picked up is a microphone arm. And the bundle I bought also came with a pop filter. Okay, so I have now secured the microphone onto the arm here. And then I can just kind of adjust um, here to decide which direction I want it to hang. If I want it to hang down. Or up and that'll kind of depend on where we decide to put it on the desk so the next thing that we picked up is a new light so I told you guys I had that light up there that was clamped that was far too bright so I got this lamp um, it's adjustable and it's an LED um, excuse me LED light panel with its own filter on it um, so let's check out what this looks like so this is the light here um, this is like the size of it and then it has a switch on the back and a little LCD, oh, the side, a little LCD screen that tells you like what battery level you're at and how bright you are and what color profile you're going with. So if I just flip it on, oh, look how much that changes the light. <laughs> but with the light uh, panel, I wanted to get another microphone arm um, so I can put it on my desk and I can kind of hide it away whenever I'm not using it and I can move it when I do need it and I can kind of change the angle of which it's pointing so it's just not stationary. Again, we have this, um, I believe, 3 8 inch um, here. I think that's, I don't remember the thread count. So when I attempted to attach the LED light panel, I realized these sizes are not compatible. One week later. Okay, so about a week later from Amazon, we got our adapter. So I'm super pumped. I'm ready to record this video. So boom, now that we have this on, we can screw on the LED light panel. But, <sighs> different sizes. 
again. Oh my gosh. One week later. So after waiting a week, we got another packet of adapters. This one comes with two different types. So there's one that's the um, big 5.8 side, and then one that actually fits our light panel. And then it also comes with one that is male to male. So the male side that fits the light panel, and then the male side that typically fits like the microphone stand and stuff like that. So thankfully this time, we are able to successfully attach the light panel to this uh, microphone arm. And I'm so happy because the process has been so delayed just trying to get this light on here because I really wanted to have everything before I started the setup because I figured I might want to record a video for it. So I'm so, so happy. This took so long to get together and it's such a simple part. So now we have our microphone and we have our light panel. So let's go to the last couple of things that we got for this new setup. So the next things that we got um, were kind of like bonuses. One, I decided that I needed. Um, I wanted a long time ago, but I didn't think I was going to record a gaming video, so I never got one. But with the pandemic, I told you guys, it makes my anxiety high, which makes me more prone to buying stuff that I may not normally buy. So we got two Elgato products to add to our desk setup. The first one that we got is an Elgato HD60S capture card. And I want to use it to record gameplay for my Nintendo Switch, maybe even my PS4, but for sure the Switch, because I got Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons, and I've never played an Animal Crossing game. And my best friend really wanted me to record my gameplay since I'm brand new to the game once I start playing. So I'll probably do that um, with this capture card as well as some other gameplay that I wanted to do. I already have a capture card um, for the older game systems like my GameCube, my Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, things like that. I just have not gotten around to doing any gaming videos. And then last but not least, the last product that we have is also an Elgato product. This one was a bit of a splurge. It is not at all a necessity. It's just something that I thought was really cool. And I've kind of wanted for like over a year now, but I talked myself out of it, but the pandemic talked me into it. So that is an Elgato Stream Deck. Okay, nerds, so we are done with the desk for now. Um, I showed you guys where I decided to put the microphone. I tried it a couple of different places and I realized the closer it is to my mouth, the better it works with the settings that I have. And I don't feel like figuring out all new settings just to have the microphone a bit further from me. Um, I'm okay with where it is and the angle at which I can put it and it works pretty well. And then I showed you guys kind of where the light is. It's attached behind the desk. So when it's up there, it's it looks like it's like jumbled in with the little PlayStation display that we have. But when it's not being used, it can be tucked away. And it can even be angled so where it's not right on that stuff. But I kind of put it there so that it's further away so that the light is a little softer when it hits my face. Instead of being really harsh and like just exposing light on, on my cheeks and stuff like that. I'm pretty happy um, with the way things turned out, with setting this stuff up. Um, I'm, I am sad that it took so long to get to this point because it's pretty simple. Um, I'm just kind of working with what I got right now. Um, I, I also put up the Elgato Stream Deck. I'm not sure if that's where I'm going to keep it, but that's where it looked the most aesthetically pleasing. And it's easily accessible with my right hand. Um, so I take my hand off my mouse and then I can use it. As for the capture card, I decided that I will not be setting it up in this video because 
Sorry, somebody's driving by really loud outside. But I'm not going to set it up in this video because it's going to take a lot more work than anticipated because I have multiple devices that I want to connect to the capture card that I may play video games on. Because I play video games on all three of my um, devices that use HDMI cords, my PS3, my PS4, and my Nintendo Switch, I decided that I want to get an HDMI Switch, um, which will allow me to plug all three of those in and then just have one um, output that'll be chosen to go to the stream deck. But that's gonna do it for me in this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And while you're down there, let me know in the comment section, what do you think of my desk setup right now? The placement of my microphone, my light, stuff like that. I know it's really basic. Um, it's not like a full desk setup that I'm doing right now. Once I build my PC and I get my new desk space set up, I'll do like an in-depth video of what I have have going on um, but if you guys do want to see that with my current setup then just let me know in the comments and I might create another video like detailing all of the stuff that I have on my desk and decorations and stuff like that just let me know if you want that if not then I won't be doing it if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know of all the nerdy and hit that bell notification and be sure to share this video and my channel with anybody that you think may enjoy but as always, guys, remember, keep it nerdy.